How y'all doing? Uh, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday, my world. Happy whenever you'll see this in your world, okay? Bienvenidos a mi canal. Welcome back to my channel once more. If you know me, thank you so much for coming back to see your girl again. I appreciate you. <laughs> if you do not recognize this face right here, my bad. My name is Latrice. Nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice, where faith is a muscle we exercise around here. Now, let's get on into it, y'all. No, tell it, tell it. Be done. Mm. So I was trying to figure out how I was going to come and present y'all this one because it took me a while today and I went, oof, I went and worked out tonight. Yes, I did. Um, I went and worked out and something new I've been doing. Uh, not just because I wanted to, but because I needed to mentally as I'm working out, I haven't been listening to music. Like maybe the past three workouts, I've been praying, praying out loud. And it's not something I can really explain, but it's just, you got to do it to know what I'm talking about. The way I'm, mm, let me jump right into it. The way I'm getting my weight up is on a different level. And I mean that in uh, a number of different ways. I'm getting my weight back up physically, right? Physically, your girl's getting her weight back up. Physically, mentally, emotionally. Spiritually, I'm getting my weight up. That's really the time. Them that way is get your weight up. Let me jump right on into it real quick. So, mm, to be able to handle more, endure more, mm, learn more, be more, you are going to have to, we are going to have to enlarge our territory. What does that mean? We're going to have to expand our capacity. And in order to do that, you're going to need direction. You can't just be out here making decisions willy nilly, just making them just, I'm going to just this. You need direction, sound direction, immutable, indisputable, wise direction, sovereign direction. For those of us, pause. I know there are going to be people who are watching this who don't believe in God. That's your business. I love you anyway. But for those of us who do believe in God, this is going to be centered around that. You're going to need some direction really coming from God, right? Sovereign, meaning just whatever. Um, follow me. I'm trying to get it out, but I'm really hyped and I'm feeling in my body right now. Um, okay, so in Isaiah chapter 30, that's what I read this morning, right? So I had to read the whole chapter to see what's going on. This is a prophet Isaiah and he's talking, telling what's going on. God's people, specifically the people of Judah, they were rebelling against God. They wild and they're doing crazy things out here, okay? And God's like, what are you doing? They basically, they had wars going on, civil wars, and then they were going to basically end up being taken down by Assyria. They didn't want that. They were scared. So what they did was they went over to Egypt and was trying to uh, pay them to help protect them from Assyria. God was like, what are you guys doing? Why are you going, to, going through all this trouble, expending all of what you have, First of all, they have cars. They have planes, huh? They taken all their treasures, putting them on donkeys and camels and everything and walking through the desert. Dangerous desert, the Bible says, with lionesses, lions, snakes, all the things. So you risking your life, risking your livelihood to go buy some protection, basically, from Egypt. Well, God says, it ain't even gonna work out in the end. You doing this for nothing. You wasting your time and their time because they're not gonna help you. They're not gonna protect you. They're gonna end up disgracing you. It's gonna be for nothing, okay? He's like, instead of doing that, why don't you just come to me? Y'all rebelling, y'all doing wildness. This is what's going to happen. If you just come to me, I will ultimately, like, <sighs> Petey talked about tonight in his um, Bible study. Petey, what up? He talked about the right decision versus the better one. So often we like to make decisions with our own knowledge, with our own whatever, right? Feeling like this is the best decision for me. But how do you know what's right? How do we know what's right? We're going off of our own lens, right? And like I said in another video, if you don't heal yourself, if you don't read, if you don't learn more, if you don't expand yourself mentally all the ways, you're going to be, your lenses are probably toxic. Your lenses are probably covered in trauma, covered in abuse. So you think that you're making the right decision and it may not be the right one at all. Or you think you're making the right decision when God's like, look, I have a better decision. This may feel like it's right for you at the time, but I have a better one. In this season right now, we are in a new year. 
how are you making your decisions? Because in order to make the best decisions, not just the right ones, but the wise ones, you're going to need, you're going to need to get them from a sound place. To be able to be all that you're supposed to be, to be able to accomplish, even if, listen, if you don't believe in God, that's fine. But in, to be able to accomplish all that you want to accomplish in life, you still going to have to get your weight up. You're still going to have to get your information, get your sound decisions from a source that is unchanging. A source that always is going to have your best interest, your future, your best interest at heart, at the forefront. Jesus, I hope this is making sense. The point of this, it comes down to making a decision. You're going to have to get your weight up. And in order to do that, you're going to have to decide, am I just going to make what's the decision that seems right to me or am I going to make the wise choice? That's up to you. That's it. That's all I got right now. My go ahead about your business. <laughs> I hope this made sense. All right. See, now that you're dicho hoy, esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo. If nobody has told you today, I want to tell you that I love you. Because listen, life be life in out here. But guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. Catch on the flip side. Bye.